In many ways, tree bark is like animal skin. However, the animals, the skin can grow with the size, growth of the organism concerned. But in trees, they have to increase their circumference, having already formed an outer layer that doesn't stretch. So what happens is either forms cracks and crevices, or forms scales that fall. So very few trees remain smooth throughout their entire lives. Also, deciduous trees that lose their leaves in winter still have to obtain oxygen and remove carbon dioxide during the winter months. And to do so, they have either loose-fitting scales where the gas can diffuse through, or they have structures known as lenticels, which allow the diffusion of oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. And these form characteristic identification marks for a species of trees. This is a young alder tree with the lenticels very distinct. This is an alder tree, not to be confused with elder. It has these vertically running cracks. The bark doesn't really form scales. The orange colour there is a type of alga that's frequently found in this moist climate. The beautifully smooth bark of a young beech tree. Notice there are no lenticels visible. The bark of a beech tree, typically smooth, Little dots here are the lenticels, the breathing holes. This young birch tree shows the classic peeling to one side laterally of the bark. And also the very prominent lenticels, these breathing holes. Typical old silver birch bark, showing the sort of diamond shaped rips that appear, whilst the lenticels are still exceedingly obvious. This is an old horse chestnut. And the way in which these scales are peeling off gives it some similarity to the likes of an old sycamore. Because of these loose fitting scales, there's no need for distinct lenticels like are found on other trees such as the, the birch tree. bark of an elder, not old but elder, more of a shrub than a tree. The bark of an old hawthorn these scales and vertically running lines are very prominent. The scales are relatively small compared with things like that of the sycamore. Again, no obvious lenticels. This is a rather striking example of an old holly.
This is a hornbeam. The bark, particularly in wet weather, has blue metallic-like strands running through it. This tree is frequently confused with the beech. The leaves are also very similar to beech leaves. This is a larch, again showing these vertically running cracks that are in between scales that are falling. Larch is very unusual amongst conifers in that it's deciduous. It loses its needles in winter. A young lime tree, the lenticels very visible a different shape than those that were present on the beech tree. And here's old lime bark, quite different. Scales are developed and the lenticels are no longer visible. This is an unusual example for Scotland. This is Asa campestri, the field maple, closely related to the sycamore. The sycamore actually being a member of the maple group. This is a relatively young Asa platinoides, the Norway maple. The bark with these crevices is quite characteristic. And the leaves show the obvious relationship to the sycamore and to the field maple. Typical bark of an oak tree, this one fairly mature, with these vertically running cracks and scales. The silvery bark of a rowan on mountain ash, showing the lentils, which rather than being continuous, seem to be individual which then coalesce. The bark of a young sycamore. Here's the patterns, the whirls where bark has fallen off an older sycamore. This is the bark of one of the rarest trees in the world. This is an Arran white beam, only found growing on the island of Arran in Scotland. This specimen was brought over many years ago and grows on the mainland. This is the bark of willow, one of the Salix species. This one's being grafted because the Kermarnock willow lies above as a graft. This is the bark of a yew tree. There are some very flattened scale, scales, but they're very adherent to the bark itself, to the trunk. All this side growth here is because some branches were cut off and that's uh, stimulated the dormant buds that otherwise would not grow.